Good day, everyone. We are quickly heading into the middle of August, and I know that many of you are looking forward to the State Fair, and so many of our young people are getting ready to go back to school and our college-age kids back to, hopefully, a normal college life. Let us pray for all these upcoming events that we don't have an interference from this virus. This week, I'd like to reflect on NFL star Ricardo Lockett, who rose up from the ranks of pro football and eventually helped the Seattle Seahawks win the Super Bowl of 2014. But if you remember on November 1st of 2015, the wide receiver and special teams player was blindsided with a vicious hit and was left sprawled on the ground in front of 90,000 fans. A year after the hit that nearly broke his neck and took his life, Lockett reflected on this experience. This is what he said. It's crazy what matters to you when you're in that situation cars, jewelry, big houses, Super Bowls, it all seems so meaningless. I came up from nothing, undrafted, practice squad, released a bunch of times, then I made it to three Super Bowls in a row. I have a saying, kind of a mantra, a hundred dollars and a dream. I used to want a black Lamborghini and a seven-room house. That's what I dreamed about. Now, all of a sudden, I can't move. The only thing that mattered to me in the entire world was being able to see my family again to hold my kids in my arms. After surgery to repair my damaged vertebra and a few weeks of serious rehabilitation, I was walking around just fine and we were playing basketball again. But a few months later in early May, I made the decision to retire from football at 29. My head coach, Pete Carroll, used to preach to us all the time, you live in a temporary fairy tale. Your fans are temporary, your coaches are temporary, your teammates, as much as they love you, are temporary. The big houses you live in are temporary. You can enjoy all that stuff, but it's not what will bring you happiness. And so Ricardo goes back to say, when I was laying motionless on that turf in Dallas, I was completely dependent upon the help of others. It was the exact opposite of the mindset I had from the moment I got to the Seahawks camp as a rookie. You're a rock star. You're a leader. You're the alpha. This is all yours for the taking. And then in one second, you're helpless. Challenging story that I believe calls us to reflect on how much importance we place on all that is so temporary. Let us not go after treasures that perish, says the scriptures. And we all know that life can change on a dime. So let us reflect on our priorities and not live in a temporary fairy tale. And let us pray for each other during these days when we're challenged again with these new variants that we can all take care of each other, that we can do what we need to do to stay safe and healthy. Have a good day. Continue to enjoy this very nice, warm weather, everybody.